Kevin, what are you doing? Hey. Well, I was playing with this uh, program. This is my CAD program. I was going to mess with this design a little bit, and then I thought I'd take it in and put it in the 3D printer, and we'll print out a little piece of it. Cool. Yeah. So, you know about this program, right? Tell us more. Well, th this is this program is called the Libre Design. It is a mechanical CAD program for making like machine parts. Well, this is the program I use to make my drawings, whether they're for uh, you know like a, a regular sketch drawing for dimensions and what have you, or I'll do the 3D images in this that we use in the photos that we take on location, so the customer can see what the piece would look like right at their site. So I thought, well, I was just going to change the color in this, and then I need to run it through a different program so the printer can talk to it, and then I'll just put it on a thumb drive, and we'll take it in and plug it in and let it sit there and print it out. So you mean this is the original program that you create an image in to print it out in 3D? Well, right. This is the CAD program that I use. The printer also comes with its own CAD program, slightly different version than what this is by a different manufacturer. It doesn't have quite all the bells and whistles that this one does, but I'm just more familiar with this. And so I, I enjoy using this program more. But then there's a, a little interface program that will take this format and change it over to the printer format because it's a computer. It has its own language. <laughs> So, people could use any CAD program to create the file they need to put into the interim program. Well, it, it, as long as you can output an STL file, then the printer program will be able to read it and change it into its own format so it can use it over there. Let's use it over there. So, this is an image you had before. Yeah, th this is an image I've had before. It's been floating around in here for a little while. I actually made a, a fairly tall one. Uh, a maquette out of steel just for a presentation before, long before I had the printer and I thought well okay this would be a good one to try out the printer and see how well it works in a you know about a six seven eight inch tall uh, size. So can you rotate this and show us what it's going to look like? Oh that's one of the great things with the CAD program is you can rotate them all different ways flip it upside down isometrics I mean you can do amazing things with this program. Well, the next step is to save it out of here as an STL, and then I can send it to the printer program. So we just go to the file menu and export, and the name already comes up, the name of the sculpture, and you just change it to an STL format. And we'll just change the folder it's going to, so I know where to find it. <laughs> this is the CubeX printer program, and it'll look vastly different inside, believe me. Now, the CubeX, what kind of printer? Is it a CubeX printer? Right, it's a CubeX three-color 3D printer. So it's got three different cartridges of, of different color uh, ABS plastic in it. And it just takes out the hard plastic. It, it looks about like a, uh, like a weed eater wire, but um, it's not quite the same. But it'll pull that, that cable out, feed it all the way up through the top of the machine, down through the injection head, where it melts it, and then it literally squirts out 500 and something degree molten plastic. And that's what it lays down in, in you know, little lines, patterns, builds up little bridges. It makes its own little supports. So like with the, with the runner, where the pieces are hanging off at weird angles, it'll build up this little cribbage underneath it, so when it finally starts to make the piece itself, it's got something to lay the plastic on so it can support itself until it finally cools. The rudder, is that the name of that sculpture? That's, that's the name of that sculpture. You see here, it's really, really tiny. <laughs> now we just change our scale a little bit. So the scale isn't one-to-one -one from the CAD program to the Cubex no, printer program? No, they, they don't talk that nicely to one another. So you're scaling it up here. Right, scaling it up over here. So now it's 
142 millimeter tall and 78 millimeter one direction, 91 millimeter the other direction. Well, 142 millimeter works out to right about five and a half inches tall. So we've got it centered on our tray where we want it, where it, it's in the, uh, it, it's within the range of the print head, so it knows what to do. And we're going to tell it, make it red. One of the things I want to change is it says support material is in white. Because I'm going to make the sculpture in red, I'll go ahead and change that to red also. So I don't have the white plastic that I have to grind off of the red plastic and you know, risk damaging the red part of the sculpture. So I just change it to the same color and that way it all blends in. Come over here and say build. So now it's sitting there thinking about this, this sculpture. It's slicing it horizontally into about two millimeter layers and mapping out exactly where it needs to go and how it wants to build the webbing that's going to hold everything up as it's building this odd, you know, off balance kind of sculpture. Four hours and 21 minutes because it's building it all out of the same color. So now you can see the sculpture buried inside here, inside this red webbing. But all of this, this over in here, this whole piece in here, all of that will come out when it's done being built. So now I just need to save it to a thumb drive, take it in the other room, plug it in, push a couple of buttons, and away she goes. So this is the Cubex 3D printer. And it's really just as easy as your thumb drive in the hole and push the button. You guys want to look inside before I turn it on? Hell yes! Hey, okay. We'll do that in the next video. See you then.